So hello and welcome back to the Black Sweet United Africa Rising channel. Once again, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe because we bring you everything live that's happening on the continent of Africa. That's promoting the continent of Africa. Join this family and let's 5k by the end of January 2025. Yes, that's a new target. We want 1,000 subscribers. So share this video and let everybody be part of this family of African Rising. So what you are seeing is Ghana's new STEM school model. Now, I know we always say that Africa is lagging behind in terms of infrastructure, in terms of education. Even some countries go as far as to say that Africa is a shithole country or Africans don't have smart people. In fact, people call us third world country not because we don't have food to eat, but because they think our IQ is even low. But this phenomena is changing. If you go to South Africa, Kenya and all, we have smart kids and all. Like, the education system is changing, but Ghana is putting it on a whole new pedestal, on a whole new level. What you are seeing is education infrastructure for middle school. What, what we will say middle school, in, in essence, in for junior high and senior high school levels. This is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics school infrastructure that has been set up. Now, if you wonder why the sudden change. Let me give you a short background, and I'm trying to make this video as short as three minutes. I wouldn't even want to go beyond three minutes. Ghana's education minister, who will, be, who will soon be outgoing because their government has been voted out, has for the past six years, I would say, put it or mandated himself to set up STEM schools. In fact, he came from the United States where he had a authority or he had a business of establishing uh, charter schools in the united states and so he brought that same idea to ghana where he started building stem schools schools that is going to focus on problem solving science technology engineering and mathematics a lot of them are already operational but this recent one that has just opened in accra is mind-blowing in fact you see lab facilities you see computers you see I, I just can't think for in fact the classroom is extraordinary you might not even find it in developed countries and that is what Ghana is doing. And they are trying to establish it in about 10, in all the 10 regions of the country. It's mind-blowing. I don't know. For now, Ghanaians might not see it. But I'm just trying to envisage the next three to five years of Ghana's future. Oh, let's let's just even, let's just play the waiting. Let's let's err on the side of, uh, uh, I mean, of caution. That in the next 10 years, Ghanaians, Ghana is going to even export tech 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 guys like oh my goodness ghana is doing the right thing and it, it's no wonder that recently they went to the robofest world robofest and won it in fact some group of ghana also went to asia recently to win a mathematics contest ghana is on the rise and africa need to follow we need to change the narrative it's hard time we drop that third world country whatever africa will rise again if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. My name is Ben Carson, and this is a Black Twitter Night Africa Rising channel. See you when I see you.